Can you see? Yes. So ladies and gentlemen, the next three minutes, I want to walk you through the stages of how humans have been fighting bacteria. And to make this a little bit more fun, I want to challenge you to a game of Super Mario. I'm the human Super Mario, and you guys are all tiny, grumpy little bacteria trying to take me down. So let's start with level one, the so-called infection level. Um, so a while ago, when bacteria decided to, when you guys decided to attack me, I was a bit uh, unprepared. I was unarmed. So with a little bit of teamwork on your side, you were easily able to defeat me. A bit like real life, if you were to run me over this second, better do it all together because just a few of you couldn't take it with me, of course, <laughs> obviously. So, um, but you're smart, so you're working together, and so you win level one. In level two, medicine got a bit more advanced. I got a bit smarter. And so in the antibiotics level, I'm feeding you with antibiotics that kill about 95% of you. So there's only a small group left. Shouldn't be a problem for me. But again, you're working together. This time, you're making babies. You're replicating yourself. Two becomes four, four becomes eight, and so forth. And so eventually, there's enough of you again to take me down. So level two is going to take a little bit of time, but you're still able to win. That's why in the third level, I'll let you stay alive, because killing has never helped anyone anyway. So I'll let you stay alive, but I make you deaf. So you can't communicate with each other. You can't work together. And for the rest of your sad little bacteria life, you're all alone and isolated. <laughs> And you wouldn't dare to fight me all by yourself, because as you can obviously see, me as a human, I'm about a million times bigger than you. So you wouldn't dare to come close to me. And now we don't have a name for this level yet, but we're researching on it. And not only did we find out that bacteria can actually communicate with each other, they're using chemical signal molecules as messages and highly specific receptors to receive those. Beyond this, we found something else pretty amazing something that takes antibiotics to the next level, something that lets us beat bacteria at their very own game. Because if we take the signal molecule from this strain A and put it with another bacterial strain B, it actually blocks strain B receptors. So strain B bacteria, they can communicate with each other. They can work together, and subsequently, they don't attack as humans. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's been fun playing with you as my bacteria, but I'd say time to admit, game over. Thank you very much. <laughs>